Hey, I'm Scott Roberts, an aquatic ecologist with the Mountain Studies Institute, a research and education nonprofit here in Durango, Colorado. We're standing on the banks of the Animas River here at Rotary Park in downtown Durango, where um, the Mountain Studies Institute, including myself, came down and was able to collect macroinvertebrate samples before the sediment plume arrived at about 10:30 uh, p.m. on Thursday evening, and uh, we were able to, to get a sample of the of the community, the benthic community before the plume arrived and then after the plume arrived and then we've been sampling um, almost every day since since then. And what we found is, is right now we're standing at a spot where the plume uh, has been here about 60, 60 hours. Uh, so the, the fish and the aquatic life here has been exposed to the sediment and the metals that are in the sediment and in the water for about 60 hours. And so what we did this morning was, was Look in the uh, at the bottom of the river under rocks and, and sticks and uh, and the sediment to see if the bugs uh, how the bug community was faring and and what we've seen so far is similar to what we saw at 20 hours is the the dominant taxa of uh, a betis mayfly um, some midges a hydrocycid caddisfly um, a brachycentris caddisfly all seem seem to have survived at this point at 60 hours of exposure to this event and. Um, Although that's good news, uh, certainly cautious moving forward. Uh, as you can see, walking around the banks, uh, there's sediment um, being deposited along the banks that, that has the potential to contain uh, metals um, that could be detrimental long term uh, to the health of aquatic life in the river. So we're going to continue to monitor back tomorrow to see how the bugs are doing. Um, we'll be here next week to see how the bugs are doing, and we'll continue to, to monitor the situation uh, as time goes by. Um, to see if we're seeing any more long-term chronic effects of this event on the benthic macroinvertebrate community.